We're sharing a new project with you, one of our largest yet. You may have seen this home on our Netflix series, Dream Home Makeover. We're going to dive in a little bit more into the details of the design today and share all bits of the house, some that you have seen and then some that you have not. This is our home on the ranch. Our clients bought this beautiful property on alfalfa farmland and it has beautiful views to the mountains. We really wanted to create a home that was timeless and elegant, but also just comfortable and very livable for this family. The scale of this home is off the charts. Our client's family is large and they hope to host their kids, their kids' spouses, their grandkids. It is a home that is going to host for many generations. Our clients really wanted a farmhouse style home that also had some coastal elements. So we have a white painted brick, beautiful shutters, and then we have some red exposed brick. And I love that the materials kind of have sections throughout the home. And then a barn that houses a full size regulation court. I don't even know how you say that. A regulation size basketball court. Then you walk up, you have this really beautiful roundabout. The stained wood doors are the center of the home and bring you into the entryway. On the porch, you've got these awesome daybed swings that greets you and then you walk in and there is this two story high vault in the entryway with these stained wood rafters. We really tried to mix new with old everywhere in this home. We have this vintage console, this beautiful Windsor chair, really beautiful tall mirror, an old crock. All of these details really speak to the farmhouse style, but in an elegant and not themey way. The entry is so large that we were able to fit this console moment this beautiful vintage rug at the center, and even a little said tea with room to spare. Room to sit down and take your boots off, check your mirror on your way in or out, and that sets that casual feeling that they were going for. Off to your left, you walk through these gorgeous wood French doors and into their library. We have five kids. This is the homework space, the music room, and storage for all of our clients' books. And he has lots of them. So we did a table in the center that could accommodate lots of seating. We have this amazing rust English roll arm sofa from McGee & Co. You guys say I never use color, but we just did a rust colored sofa. So hey, we do it sometimes. And then we style the built-ins to incorporate lots of old and new family photos and accessories and really bring that library feel to life. And to top it all off, we had to do a rolling ladder and I love that detail in the space. The piano off to the right is our client's grandmother's piano and it's an upright piano. It just needed a fresh coat of paint, so we did a really soft gray. We painted it Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore and then allowed that area to kind of just be the music area. A few of the finished details really bring this space to life. We did herringbone floors. We did beams on the ceiling, and then I love that we incorporated task lights on the built-in so that it can illuminate the items below and also just bring character to the space. So beyond the library, you enter this gorgeous hallway, and that takes you over to their bedroom. There are lockers on two sides, 
we have a landing zone for dropping cell phones and keys. And we did this really cool custom bench with a leather cushion, added some textiles to bring some life. And I just think that the cabinet details in here are really, really interesting. For our clients, when they have mudrooms, those often become the entryway for the clients and the entryway is for guests. In here, we have seven people in and out and then lots of friends always coming over to use their basketball court. This is incredible. I've never designed something of this scale before. Usually if people do a little sports court, we you know pick a few finishes and we call it a day. But in here, this is a showpiece. big part one of a home tour and we have so much more to share with you so make sure you check back for more of our home on the ranch tour